Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick run through on the Neyrink uh, control surface system for traction here because I think it's really cool and I think you will too. Um, to get it, first thing to do is to go to the Neyrink site, www.neyrink.com, and then you go for the V Control Pro system. Um, one thing to do while you're on the site here is to grab their Ni Fi uh, download, it's a free download and it's a little Wi-Fi wi app that runs on your computer where you're going to be actually running your DAW traction of course. Um, so you grab that while you're on the site uh, and then uh, to actually get the app itself you can, uh, you can go to the iTunes App Store and download that onto your iPad. Um, the app is $49.99 and worth every single penny as you'll soon see. So once you've done that, um, setup is super super simple. Uh, in Traction, you literally just go to your settings page, choose control surfaces, and then you select Mackie Control, as you see here. And then down the bottom here in our properties panel, you simply select V Control as your input and your output device. And that's all you have to do in Traction. So we can go back to our session page here. And then uh, on your iPad, you'll see here I've downloaded the app already, so I can go ahead and launch it. Uh, the app fires up as you'll see it's already synchronized because I've uh, been using the app so far to set it up you simply click on the settings page you can see here that it's synchronizing with my laptop and then you can choose your your DAW that you choose of course it supports pretty much every DAW out there we've selected traction of course uh, and that's pretty much it that's all you have to do um, now within the actual uh, controller itself here, you'll see immediately you've obviously got real faders to control everything in traction. I obviously have my transport so I can control my session within traction. And just jump back to the start of the session here. And you'll see obviously uh, it's all synchronized. We have our audio starting here on our session. And, you know, all the good stuff. This is one of our soon to be demo songs by uh, a wonderful duo that uh, that uh, you'll see the session's called Pilot Light and will be available as a demo song uh, here in the next few weeks. As you'll see, I can scroll across all my channels just simply by dragging across, nice and easy. If I name anything in my session, uh, the names come up available here. So for example, I could name another of these tracks. I know this one, for example, is uh, drums. And you'll see drums has come up immediately on my iPad there. So everything is synchronized, everything you would expect. I can uh, navigate through my aux sends. I can even access my plugins to control them. So lots of flexibility here. The other really cool thing you can do is set up a secondary screen. And literally any window you have running on your computer can be mirrored onto your iPad here. So I'm gonna select my traction screen and that's going to be my second panel. I can take this full screen. And now I can switch between fader view and my session, which allows me to actually navigate around my session as well, uh, which is awesome, which means now I can truly move anywhere around the home here uh, without being tethered to my desk here, running my computer and everything. I can actually move anywhere around the house. So, you know, if Dave and I want to move over into the into the comfort of another space to pick up a guitar and play that and record it I can do that all from the comfort of my iPad. I can pick it up and just move around with it and control my session if I want to you know jump to a different part in the session I can do hit play super easy you get the idea generally very cool